welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Chef Harry's Modern Indian Kitchen today and every day at Suleika.com. Next time you have friends over, try my saffron mango mousse, which is my, one of my favorite desserts. Uh, it's actually simple to make, and uh, a mango and saffron goes very well together. It actually takes probably five minutes to put together, and it's very quick and simple. I have uh, saffron. Like you know, saffron is one of the most expensive spices that you can find uh, in the market. It's very expensive, and uh, I found uh, something which I'm going to use today. It's uh, a saffron extract. Uh, it's from Supreme Spice. Uh, it actually works pretty amazingly well uh, with, for this recipe and many others I've tried. Uh, it's, it's actually a concentrated saffron uh, oil that we're going to use today. Uh, for this recipe, I have mango puree. Uh, like you know, mango is not in season all the time. If you have fresh mango, uh, it's perfect to use it. But I have mango puree that I've used. Uh, it comes in a can. I have uh, whipped cream. Uh, simp simple whipped cream, heavy cream whipped, uh, lightly s sweetened. Uh, depending on how, how sweet you like this, uh, you can add sugar to it. Uh, sometimes your mango puree has sugar in it, so it's up to your liking how sweet you want this dessert to be. So I have whipped cream. It's lightly whipped. I don't want it too thick. Soft peaks, that's how I want it. Just, just a soft pick. I'm going to add whipped cream to this puree. This is an eggless mousse. Uh, some of the recipes for mousse calls for eggs. But this is a very simple a mango cream, per se. I have a mango mousse, which I'm going to flavor it with saffron. Now this here is a very concentrated saffron flavor. I'm just going to add a few drops. For this amount, I'm going to add just maybe a two to three drops. Like you know, saffron is an expensive spice. It's gonna sit in your pantry. But this something, it has a longer shelf life uh, compared to the saffron, which probably you're gonna use it twice or four times a year. Mango and saffron is a great flavor combination. Uh, it goes very well together. So there we have a mango cream with saffron. To finish this dessert, I'm going to serve it. I like desserts in very small portions, so I'm going to plate it in small portions. And to top that, I'm going to make a, a quick salad of pomegranate. If you have pomegranate in season, you can use it. Pomegranate is one of my favorite fruits. Uh, you could use uh, grapes. You could use uh, apples, whatever is in season that you would like. I have some pomegranate seeds. And I have some golden raisins, which I have soaked overnight in uh, uh, rum or brandy. If you uh, don't want alcohol, you could just soak it in uh, sugar and water. So I'm going to add a little golden raisins and uh, chopped pistachio. It's going to make a great topping for this dessert. It has a beautiful color, it has great texture which I'm going to get from the pistachio and uh, it's a very simple dessert. I can actually eat it on its own. It actually tastes good. 
You want some tree? So it's time to plate this dessert. I love desserts in very small portions. If you prefer, you can actually serve it in a, a large bowl. A little bit of pomegranate and raisin mixture with pistachio. Looks beautiful. Look at the colors. If you would like. I would actually top it a little bit of saffron on top. You don't have to. And there we have a perfect, simple, quick party dessert. A mango mousse with saffron. There you go. texture from the nuts, pomegranate, the tartness from the pomegranate and the sweetness from the raisins are just going perfectly well with the saffron mango mousse.